Within Dubzado, one of the issues with regards to creating a proposal can be you want to create an option that the user can select, but it's only really specific to this one proposal. So for example here, I have an option where we can synchronize the campaign ID between a CRM and a content management system. This is something that's very, very unique and is going to have a very unique price. Now, we're all aware of the proposal method where we can create a package, uh, give it a price, etc., but then only hit apply instead of save and apply, which means that that package element will be available on this proposal only and nowhere else, which is awesome, and I'll make sure I link to that in the description. Now, one thing, however, that I realized was that once you have created it, you actually cannot edit the package. So let me just show you that in practice. So let's create a new package, and we're going to say create new package and give it a name, example. Give it a new line item, example, and then we shall put one and give it a price of, say, 100, and we'll apply text to it, of etc. Uh, and then instead of pressing, whoop, add item, instead of pressing save and apply, which will create the package, we only press apply. So go one, 100 pounds, apply. Now the problem here lies in, if I now click back into this, I can't edit the package. There's no way of editing this package. It doesn't exist in here, etc. I can't edit the price. So what we've done is for every time we create a new package, we just simply enter in our hourly rate and then we add in here the multiplier. So let's say that this is a hundred pounds an hour and it's meant to be a thousand pounds in total. So we will simply enter here and here 10, which means that when they select this, it will add up to the value of a thousand. We've done that already here, so our price in this section is 110 pounds per hour uh, plus tax, which means it's 132 um, pounds per hour. And we've said that for this particular element, we want to have um, 100 hours equivalent for this development. So I'm going to close that and I am going to save and then we will switch over and refresh the page. So you see here, if I select this now, that gives me my 1000 plus tax. And select, and then you'll see that we have this. This is all inclusive of tax. And then we can add the two together. But that also means that when this comes through to me, I'm going to understand what it is they've selected. But also I've got full control over changing the price whenever I want to. I don't have to keep recreating the package.